Hey y'all, it's Paula Z, and today I will be making strawberry stuffed French toast. My ingredients are vanilla extract, one cup of uh, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, one cup of uh, powdered sugar, uh, butter, Philadelphia cream cheese, which you want it to be softened, leave it out, take it out early, sour cream, eggs, cinnamon, and of course strawberries, and um. I'm going to add, you don't have to add this, but I just like nutmeg, so I'm going to add nutmeg to mine because I'm a you know, fan of nutmeg. So right now I'm going to go ahead and um, mix my uh, cream cheese, powdered sugar, and uh, vanilla extract. Alright y'all, I got my powdered sugar in the bowl. I'm going to add my uh, vanilla extract. My cream cheese. Soft that is. You want to leave that out a few hours earlier so it can get real soft. And I think I'm going to add about maybe about a teaspoon, maybe two tablespoons of uh, um, sour cream. That's about one tablespoon and two. Okay. And all I'm going to do next is just mix it up. I'm going to start off low. I don't want all this stuff to... And I'll be back once I'm finished mixing. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm through mixing. And you just want to mix it until it's real... You got some soft peaks. And that's it, y'all. And now I'm going to go ahead and um, rinse my strawberries and I'm going to start slicing those. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm going to take the strawberries and cut them up. I'm going to cut the top off. I don't really need the top. And I'm just going to slice it. Can you see it? I'll slice them the, the a long way. I'll do one more and then I'll do the rest off camera. And take the top off, slice it down the middle, and just and you can do the slices however you want, small or thick. I mean thin or thick. Or you don't have to slice them this way. You can slice them any way you want to, you know. So I'll be right back when I'm done. Thank you. Okay, y'all, I'm back. <clears throat> and what I added to my uh, strawberries, I added some of this natural uh, strawberry uh, fruit spread. Yeah, you can see it right there. I'm going to add a little bit more. Now, you can add sugar to this, and that's all, but you're going to get a thin, um, you know, sugar is going to uh, make it real thin, and I want it to be real thick. So I prefer using um, the um, strawberry um, fruit spread. From Smuckers. It's just optional. And I'm just going to mix it up. And you see how thick it is versus the, uh, if you use sugar, it would be real thin. And you can do it that way as well, but I like it this way. And that's it, y'all. That's how you make your little, this is going to be the uh, stuffing part. Okay, I'm going to set this aside, and I'm going to go ahead and get my um, egg wash. Not egg wash, but my uh, egg um, dip in. All right, y'all. The next step will be the um, egg bath. I'm going to uh, make, I'm going to crack my eggs in this little pan. You can use a bowl. I'm just using a uh, pie dish. And I'm going to use, um, the next will be milk, but I'm not going to use regular milk. I'm going to use me some almond milk. You can see that almond unsweetened milk. I'm going to use a cup of this. Now you can use milk, but I normally don't buy milk. So I normally buy the almond milk or cashier milk or oat milk. But this is what I have on hand. And I'm going to use some cinnamon. 
I'm just eyeballing it right now, y'all. And of course, I said earlier, I'm going to use the uh, nutmeg. This is optional. You don't have to use this, but I like nutmeg on my cinnamon toast. I'm not going to use much, but it just enhances the flavor. And I'm going to use some vanilla extract. About a teaspoon of that. Extract. What about a tablespoon? What about two teaspoons? And the next, I'll just mix it all up and we'll be ready. And you just want to mix it till it's well incorporated. And then we'll be ready to uh, dip our bread. And the bread that I have, I have the brioche bread. You can find that at any uh, supermarket. And I'll be back once this is well incorporated. I'm back, y'all. And the next step is to dip the bread into the uh, egg solution. And what uh, this is the bread I was talking about, the uh, the brioche bread, the thick slice, which I have right here. I'm just waiting for my uh, pan to heat up, and then I'll go ahead and um, dip my bread, and we'll be ready. And I have my butter on deck, so don't forget I have my butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that butter in the pan. take that long to cook. You can add more or less butter if you like. Okay, so I have my bread. I'm going to just dip it in there. Turn it over. And that's it. Place it in the pan. And I'm going to do the same with this one. And flip it over. Now this, these uh, stuffed French toast can be done several different ways. You can also um, put the spread in and then dip it, but I don't like it that way, so I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to rinse my hands off. All the way now is to, um, for the um, toast to be, get a little brown. I'm going to turn up the heat just a little bit. I'm going to get my spatula. So I'll be ready to flip it while well, it's cooking now. And it's gonna taste oh so good, you guys. So good. I'm gonna get this out of the way right here. I don't need this anymore. Oh yes, I do. I got one more piece. So I might I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. You hear that sizzle? It smells so good. Y'all, if y'all can smell this, it smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. And the taste is going to taste even better. It's an easy, simple recipe. Only a few steps. But it's also worth it. Let's see if it's ready to flip. Not quite. Mm. 
Mm, it smells so good. I'll be back, guys, when I'm ready to flip it. Okay, y'all, it's ready to flip. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it. See that beautiful color? Looks yummy. I'm going to add a little more butter to my pan. That nutmeg make it smell so good. Smell like your baking cake. It smells good, y'all. It smells so good. And I'm just going to let those brown up and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. And now we're going to uh, assemble the stuffed French toast. So I'm going to take one here, put it on the uh, plate. I'm going to go ahead and get my... Um, my sour cream and uh, cream cheese uh, mix. That's a little bit too much. We're just going to spread it on this toast. You can put as how much or how less you like. Now I'm going to get my strawberries and place them on. See how thick that is, you guys? Versus the, uh, if you would have used sugar, it would have been real thin. But I didn't, I didn't want it thin. I wanted it a little bit thick. It smells good, y'all. I wish y'all could taste it. I know it's going to be good. And I'm just going to get this piece here. Oops, a little kind of hot. And don't worry, my hands are clean and the only person going to eat this is me. <laughs> so no need to squinch. Oh, it's hot, 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 hot. And there you go. And we're going to do one more. And it's okay if it melts. It's okay. And I'm going to add some more strawberries. It smells so good. Okay. The last top. I'm just going to put the strawberries on top, y'all. I'm going to get all that goodness out of this bowl. Now we're just gonna 
sprinkle it with some powdered sugar. Hold on one second. Okay, I have the powdered sugar and we're just gonna dust it with the powdered sugar. And this is your stuffed French strawberry toast. Anymore. Now we can get a better picture. Doesn't that look good? Okay, y'all, now I'm going to give it a taste. Nope, it's falling over. <laughs> Look at that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. That happens when it's hot. But it's okay. It's going to get eaten. Looks so good, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Let's get some strawberries. Now, here we go. I'm gonna be greedy, y'all. I'm gonna take a big bite. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Lord, have mercy. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, <laughs> I want to thank you for watching. Mm. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when another video is uploaded. And I want to thank you again for watching. Bye, y'all. This is good.